Today we're going to be setting up Nintendo so you can play your favorite GameCube games on your Wii as well as your Wii Wii over on your Wii U. There's been some updates since my last guide that make this process easier, so here's what this guide is going to include. We'll be getting the Nintendo app set up along with the forwarder channels installed. The most important part, how to properly set up your games, including double disc games. The file types supported are ISO, CISO, and even RVZ. And after we get everything set up, I'm also going to show you how you can play your games through USB Loader GX, so you can store your GameCube games alongside your Wii titles. This is the way I highly recommend, as your games will look much better over here compared to Nintendo. For this guide, whether you're on Wii or Wii U, you'll need the homebrew channel installed like so. For those of you on Wii, you'll also need to have iOS 58 installed. It's included in firmware 4.3, which most of you should be on, but if for some reason you're not, you'll just have to install it manually using this app. Although if you're on Wii U, you'll need to be on Aroma custom firmware specifically for this forwarder channel to work. But on top of that, you'll just need a computer to download and transfer files to your SD or USB. I myself will be putting all my apps and games on my SD card, but if you have a different setup or combination of storage devices, that'll work fine too. And lastly, if you plan to play your GameCube games through USB Loader GX, which again, highly recommended, you'll need that set up already as well. I'll have guides linked below if you need. The final thing to note, for anyone on Wii U hoping to play GCN games with the gamepad, the best way to do that would be to create game injects for your Wii U menu, which I'm not covering in this video, but I'll link one down below if you prefer that method instead. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get started with the downloads. I'll have all the links you need in the description, starting with this one for Nintendo, and it was created by Fix94, so big shout out there. But here's where we're going to get the app, so scroll down and under Nintendo Zip, just press download file. And you can see on the left what controllers work here, but I'm going to show you a much more in-depth resource for Nintendo after we have all these downloaded. But once you have it, you can exit out that. And here on the Google Drive, we'll have the Nintendo WAD. Now this is for the Wii, so if you're following on Wii U, you can skip this. But if you're on the Wii, click download and grab that as well. Exit out. And if you do not have a WAD manager, you can get that now. But most of you should already have it if you follow my guides. But I figured I'd show it just in case. So download YAM Mod Me Edition on top of that. The last link is for Tiny Wii Backup Manager. This is a fantastic semi new program and we'll be setting up our GameCube games, but it also does Wii games, which is really useful. So here, go to the releases tab. There is a ton of different options. It has support for Mac, Linux, and Windows, even Windows 7. So if you're on Windows like me, I recommend you get the Windows x86 underscore 64 dot zip. So we'll click that to download. Once you have that, the last thing, if you are on Wii U, the last link will be for the Wii U forwarders. This is going to have your VWI forwarder as well as your Wii U menu forwarder. So click download in the top left and grab that and you can exit out. But before we move on, I'm going to show you the best resource for all the information you need on Nintendo. This page here by Sabicos basically has everything you need. There's an index, so if you want to learn about game compatibility, you can click that and head there. Supported controllers is a big one, so if you're wondering about that, I highly suggest head down here and read to see if your controllers are compatible. So that will be linked in the description as well. But that is it for the downloads. I'll put my downloads on the left and open up the SD card you use to mod your Wii or Wii U. Mine is my hit like drive here. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be doing everything on an SD card. But if, for example, you have your apps on your SD card and games on USB, that's totally fine. You'll just have to make sure you can place them on the right storage device. Okay, so here we are placing them on the storage device where we have all of our apps and we'll start off with Nintendo. So open up that zip file. You may need an extraction software. Windows 11 should come with one, but I use 7-zip. But just grab these folders and place it on the root of your SD card or your USB drive if that's where you have your apps. And if you go inside, you'll just have this Nintendo app right here. That's everything we want. Okay, that's good. You can back out and delete the N Nintendo zip. We'll do the same for Yom Mod Me Edition drag the apps folder onto the root. I already have it, so I'm replacing the files. That is good, you can delete that. Next up, we're gonna set up the WAD. So if you do not already have a WAD folder, just go ahead and create one, WAD, lowercase, but go inside. And remember, if you are on Wii U, you will not have this Nintendo BXVS WAD. This one is for Wii. But just drag that inside, press yes if Windows prompts you, and then you can delete it off your computer. And the last step is only for if you're on Wii U, open up the Nintendo FS47 zip, 
go into the first Nintendo folder, highlight WAD and Wii U, and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Perfect. I'll just show you quick in the WAD folder, it is your VWI WAD, and then inside Wii U apps, you'll have your Nintendo folder. It is a .wub, so that is why you need Aroma custom firmware for this one to work. But perfect, we have that set up. You can go back and delete the zip. And now let's set up your games. So if you have your games on a separate storage device, make sure to have that one plugged in and ready to go. And we'll set up Tiny Wii Backup Manager. I did accidentally get the setup.exe file, so I quickly went back and grabbed the zip file. There's so many options, it's easy to grab the wrong one. Go ahead and extract the zip file. Inside will be a Tiny Wii Backup Manager exe that you can run to also install it, or you can actually rename this to portable to make it a portable program, which is what I'll be doing. So if you would also like the portable, right click on the file and click rename, hit the right arrow once, hyphen, and portable. Press enter, and now you're good to go. I have a folder on my desktop for Wii programs, so I'm gonna open that up and place the portable inside, but you can place it wherever you want on your computer. But now I'll go back and delete those. That's it for downloads. And I will say Tiny Wii Backup Manager has the exact same issue as Wii Backup Manager. Sometimes there are false positives, so you may need to allow it through your firewall, but it is safe. But now let's open it up. So run Tiny Wii Backup Manager, and this is what it will look like. The first step is gonna be to select your SD or USB. So in the bottom left, click this icon here and then navigate to it. So mine is my hit like, just click on it and select folder. If you already have Wii games on it, it will automatically detect it. And the next step is to add our GameCube game. So I have my folder here of GameCube games I have. I'll show you that I have RVZ files. I have an ISO file and nkit.iso. So all of these files work. And I also have Lord of the Rings, the third age as a double disc that I'm gonna set up as well. And it's gonna be the same process. You just need both discs. So just take note of where your games are. And then when you're ready to add them, click the plus button and then navigate to where you have them. So I'll quickly find mine and then just highlight all of your games and click open. It'll give you a list of all the games you're going to add. Press yes. Just let those run through. Obviously, the more games you have, the longer it'll take. If they are RVZ, they're gonna be converted automatically, which is very useful. And the double disc game is gonna be set up automatically as well. So nothing to worry about there. And once it's done, it'll automatically download the covers as well. But now we have our game set up just like that. And if you go onto your SD or USB, wherever you have your games, you should now see a games folder. I'll refresh. And inside are all your games properly set up. And I'll show you the double disc game is set up properly as well. And when it comes to your covers, if you go into apps, USB loader GX, images, you should see the same title IDs as your GameCube games and your Wii games. And these are gonna be your covers that will show up in USB loader GX like that. Now these are optional, but they can make your games look really good. And alternatively, when you are in ULGX, you can actually press one to bring up a prompt that will allow you to download the images there as well, but that requires the internet. And if you aren't gonna use USB Loader GX for your games, then you don't have to worry about covers at all. But if you wanna get them set up for USB Loader GX before getting on your console, if you do not see those in your USB Loader GX images folder, go back to Tiny Wii Backup Manager, go to the wrench icon and click download all covers and then they should show up in that folder. And these do need to be on the storage device that has your actual apps. So again, if you keep those separate, you need to make sure the images folder here is with your USB Loader GX app. So if you have to transfer that over, go ahead and do that. But that's it for game setup. We are all ready to go. If you ever wanna add more games in the future, it's the exact same process. And now let's go set it up on your Wii U or Wii. I'll quickly show the Wii U users that you should now see Nintendo on your Wii U menu, but don't use it yet because it doesn't work until we install the forwarder channel on the VWii menu. So let's head over to the VWii. Okay, now at this point, it's the same whether you're on Wii or Wii U. What we're gonna do is go into the homebrew channel, start it up. As you can see, we have Nintendo there, but first we're gonna install our WAD. So go to YAM Mod Me Edition. Select the source device where you have your WAD folder. Mine's on my SD. You guys should only have one WAD, but I will mention if you install a VWI WAD on your Wii, it may cause a black screen, which then you'll have to delete it and install the proper one. Same goes vice versa. So click A to install the proper one, A again, and it will install. 
If you ever wish to uninstall, you can come back in here and just switch this to uninstall, or you can go into your data management settings. That works as well. But once you have it installed, press the home button. We'll go back to the Homebrew channel. Press the home button again, exit to system menu, and we'll check out our new forwarder channel. And if you're on Wii, this is what your forwarder will look like here. If you're on Wii U, this is what yours will look like. And now that you have this installed, you can use the forwarder on your Wii U menu now. What a great sound. Let's start it and go into the Nintendo app. So here in Nintendo, you'll be able to select where your games are. In my case, they're on SD, so I'll press A there. And they should show up just like this. And this is also why I mentioned that games look much better in USB Loader GX compared to Nintendo. But you can play games from here, no problem as well. There are some settings that I'm going to tell you about. So press B on your Wiimote. And if you plan on playing your games just through USB Loader GX, you don't have to change your settings here as you'll need to change them over in the ULGX app. But if you want to know about the settings in the bottom right on this page, there are notes explaining each one. You'll have to turn on mem card emulation. So press A to turn that on. If you're on the original Wii, you can use an actual GameCube memory card. You have the options to force widescreen and force progressive but you will see a little note in the bottom right. It requires component cables or an HDMI cable on Wii U, which in my case, I have HDMI for my Wii U, so I can turn this one on. And this setting here, unlock read speed, feel free to turn it on. It can potentially speed up the loading times for your games. But as the prompt says there, it can cause problems with games that are extremely sensitive to disc read timing, but feel free to turn that on or off. But that is really all you have to do. You can press the home button to go back, and then you just press A to start up a game. And this often gets asked quite a lot about the button combinations for in-game. So I'll quickly put on the screen that to restart, it resets the game and returns to the game's title screen. Or you can shut down, which exits Nintendo and returns to the loader. And there you go, you can have fun playing your GameCube games, or if you'd like to play them through USB Loader GX, I'll show you how to do that right now. But now let's go into USB Loader GX and get everything set up. So start that. And now you can see GameCube games are showing up. If they are not showing up, no worries. First thing to change is this icon here. Make sure GameCube games are checked off. Press OK. Switch to this screen where you can see the covers are also there. If your covers did not automatically apply, or if your games still aren't showing up, head over into your settings, go to the next page, go to custom paths, for your covers in your 3D cover path, and you just navigate to where your images folder is. So if that is on your USB, there will be an option here if you have one inserted to your USB and then navigate there. But just make sure your path looks like this. Mine is obviously on an SD card. Press OK. Your path will change. And then if you need to change your game path, you can scroll down. There'll be a main GameCube path and an SD GameCube path. I have previously changed this to USB before for testing things out. And whether your games are on SD or USB, it's recommended to change your main GameCube path to match that. So here you just do the same thing from the root of your SD or USB, go into your games folder and press OK and path will be changed and then your game should show up. So go back, back again, and then hopefully you'll have your covers and games. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the settings you changed in the Nintendo app do not apply to the USB Loader GX one. So if you want to change settings here, go into your settings, loader settings, and here you can find your GameCube settings. If you go down, you should eventually come across Nintendo settings. This will have most of the same options as the settings in the actual Nintendo app. You'll find the Wii U widescreen, video deflicker, a little bit farther down, memory card emulation. Once you have all the settings you want ready to go, press back, back, and now you should be completely set up to play your games. So let's load one up. And it is worth mentioning that the best way to play these games are with an SD, HDD, or SSD. When it comes to flash drives, they may work, but can often cause unexpected errors. But I just thought I'd give you that warning there in case you're running into issues, even though you're following all the steps correctly. Also, when it comes to controllers, if you're wondering about button mapping or shortcuts, again, I have that in-depth information for Nintendo linked in the description. I'll put some in-game controller settings on the screen now. And for those of you using Wiimote and Nunchuck, which is an option, yes, I'll put up a picture of the button mapping. But again, all this information can be found on that link. 
But there you go, guys. That's everything I have for you today. If you did run into issues, feel free to join my Discord server where there's lots of great helpers that can maybe give you a hand. But remember, they don't have to help, so please be respectful. But I hope you have fun playing your GameCube games, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>